Well, hello guys, um, and a very happy Christmas to everyone. It's the uh, 25th of December. Um, yesterday, I managed to get my DJI Mavic Mini. Um, it arrived late afternoon on the 23rd, and I managed to go and get it from Park Cameras in Burgess Hill uh, early morning on Christmas Eve. So, lucky for me, beautiful sunny day, as you can see, um, Christmas Day. So I went out and uh, attempted to fly the uh, Mavic Mini. Um, pet level, love it there, and I was hoping it would be low tide. Me being stupid, didn't actually check it on the internet or anything. Um, the tide was going out, um, but uh, not for a few more hours. It wasn't going to be low enough, so unfortunately I couldn't do what I wanted to do. Um, and also suddenly realised that um, I didn't have much space first time flying this machine and obviously I only had the water to the left and the stones to the right and then the road so I was a little bit sort of a little bit worried and you'll see why in a minute um, but also the fact that the birds seem to take a liking to it so we had these two birds coming flying in like so and yeah a couple of times they tried attacking it but so I kind of thought well I kind of bought this because they're really going to come back and actually hit it one obviously injure the birds um, obviously damage the drone so I didn't want to do that so I thought you know what I'm going to bought, bought this um, this flight and uh, try a different location so landed it back onto the uh, uh, the case um, there's nowhere really level to land as you can see there it's quite stony and uh, hilly um, and then I went to Bodium Castle didn't actually fly around the castle because they don't actually really allow that even though I'm actually a National Trust photographer I still need permission to do so uh, being Christmas Day, no one there, but plenty of floods. So, anyway, this field here, about six years ago when the DJI Phantom uh, 1 appeared on the scene, I actually got one. And you back then you had to uh, uh, put a gimbal on the bottom yourself, you had to um, obviously wire it in and everything, and either use a GoPro or something like that, uh, which I did. Um, this field here, when it wasn't flooded, um, was actually a rapeseed field, so bright yellow flowers, very beautiful. Um, the day wasn't all that sunny, but it was bright enough um, to have a go. Um, and this is why I'm a little bit sort of nervous of flying um, at the moment, because I need to trust the um, the, the Phantom Mini, uh, not the Phantom Mini, sorry, the um, Mavic Mini, um, because of what the Phantom did. And it was kind of a relatively common occurrence apparently a few people had the problem it would just fly away you suddenly lost control of it um, everything kind of felt like oh it's not right but by the time you'd sort of realize what was going on as you'll see here um, that basically you didn't have enough time to push the home return button you know sort of an emergency and off it went um, anyway I'm enjoying myself flying around the uh, the field here nice and low over the uh, the flowers and I was just practicing really I'd only had the thing um, a month or so I suppose um, no real issues at all anyway I start flying around and messing around and as you can see here just just cruising really um, just trying to get some of that yellow um, f yellow sort of uh, flowers in, in shot and everything this moment here I've kind of realized something is going on um, and uh, it just decides to go up and I'm like um, okay I'm not in control now um, I'm just watching this and back then I didn't have a screen or anything like that so basically I was just flying it by eye um, still getting used to it anyway now it's completely out of control it's decided to fly away so um, there's an oak tree or two and then here's the oak tree it's smashed into um, it broke a couple of pro propellers um, it didn't do any other real damage apart from it pulled the, uh, the camera off and everything but that kind of it finished it for me I just thought I can't be really dealing with this um, so I sold it uh, put some new propellers on it and um, and sold it. Anyway, um, back there today um, with the Mavic Mini, and it's still got a lot of flood water, as you can see here. But it made some stun. It was completely still. Some stunning uh, reflections. So I thought I've got to do um, some video. You've got the Castle Pub, which is uh, Castle Pub Bodium, right in front of you there. Um, and uh, so I thought, well, I'm going to video that and this tree here and, and just a few bits and pieces. Just getting used to the controls. Still crapping myself thinking what happens if it falls out of the sky or buggers off this and the other I know they're a lot more reliable nowadays um, you know and the, the home point apps and, and all this sort of stuff it makes it a lot less um, 
likely it's going to happen. I've also at the moment got my um, distance limiter down to 180 meters and height um, above the ground 100 meters. Um, so it's maximum. It can't really go too far. You know, if I um, you know just decide to get a bit enthusiastic, I can't take it too far at the moment. Um, and to be honest, that's probably far enough for what I need to do anyway. I'm not one of these people who's going to fly over the trees there or into the distance. Um, I want to use it for photo, photo shoots and things like that, so it's an extra, an extra angle of view. Um, but as you can see, it works really well. It's very, very smooth. Um, and me just getting used to the controls and, and things. I have it on um, number uh, sticks number three. Um, so it's backwards, forwards, left, um, and pan left and right with the left stick. Um, and then the right right stick is um, rotate left and rotate right and up and down. Uh, I just found that more um, usable for me, and I think it's probably because I play GTA, <laughs> GTA 5 and stuff like that on the PlayStation, so it's the same, uh, pretty much the same orientation with sticks. So it was kind of easy to get used to. Um, but what a stunning morning. Um, wish I got there earlier. Um, basically, I've been practicing landing as well, so I'd pick things that I could land onto, like this uh, tree stump. Um, and uh, just land it on there, basically. Um, same as the beach, just put it straight onto the um, box there. But this is the photo quality. I just thought I'd take a couple of photos as well. It doesn't have RAW, unfortunately, but it's not bad. Um, shot in manual um, configuration as such. Um, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, but for me, what I needed, I just wanted to do some videos. Um, you know, just this sort of stuff. Remember, you know, different angles and things like that. And just unique sceneries that you know I might be shooting at you know so it's for me it's it's the most important thing is being able to do sort of little things like this and being a little bit adventurous and maybe do a little bit of cinematic style uh, videos the sheep don't really care too much um, which is which is quite good about animals um, but yeah um, so as the sunlight was going I dashed down to Bexhill Beach and uh, managed to get there but unfortunately there's a massive cloud there so the sun bis disappeared behind the clouds very quickly but some awesome reflections um, and silhouettes and everything like this but you don't have any um, control um, really over the um, the camera on video so what I did was I, I locked the um, basically the light meter at the sun um, so basically it didn't change too much uh, even though the light was changing constantly, but it allowed me to make sure that it didn't change when I move the camera up and down and things like that. Um, so you can fool it a little bit, but I'm really pleased with the situation. It works really, really quite well. When I wanted silhouettes, it, it was allowing me to do that. Um, you know, so and it's just su super smooth. Um, just me just flying it gently. Um, I had it in P mode, so you've got cinematic mode P, which I think is position. Um, and uh, S is sport. I've not used sport. It's not really my. I don't need to. It's fast enough um, for doing what I need to do in P. And cinema is really lovely and smooth and slow. But I did this all in P. Um, but really, really pleased on how it, how well it was working. Um, all shot in 2.7K. Um, we got these. I think they're old um, old people sort of uh, flats. But they always make a really good reflection when the tide goes out. Um, here's a little bit of a silhouette. You can still see my detail there, so the camera's actually got quite a, quite a good bit of dynamic range there, um, and it's just so usable. It's just me getting used to how quickly it moves and, and things like that. So, absolute bargain as well for the price. I mean, with the extra batteries, the um, fly fly more combo with a box and everything like that, it worked really really well. And it's not much more than a GoPro Hero Black um, eight or a seven or whatever. So absolute bargain for my you know it fits in my bag and everything as well so anyway guys hope you all had a good christmas and uh, there'll be obviously some new videos and new angles so um, have a good one don't forget to subscribe and click notification bell i'll see you soon